This giant glass dome in the middle of the Arizona desert looks like something out of a sci-fi movie, but it was real and it's called Biosphere 2, and it was the most inspiring scientific experiments in the 20th century. Built in the late 1980s, Biosphere 2 was designed to be completely sealed mini-Earth, a self-sustaining ecosystem with its own rainforest, ocean, desert, farm, and even an atmosphere. Its creators had a wild idea if we could figure out how to live independently of Earth's system, maybe we could survive on Mars or rebuild after a global catastrophe. In 1991, eight people entered the dome. They were going to live inside for two years, completely sealed off from the outside world. No food deliveries, no fresh air, and no help from the outside. They weren't just testing a science experiment. They were testing humanity's ability to start over. The cost over $200 million, funded by a Texas billionaire who believed Earth was on borrowed time. At first, it was hopeful, bold, even beautiful, but it didn't take long for things to fall apart. As if oxygen levels dropping, ants invading, and ecosystem collapsing weren't enough, the crew started facing accusations on cheating. Inside the biosphere, they were meant to rely solely on what was inside the dome. Nothing from the outside world. But as time went on, cracks began to show. Tension inside the dome ran high, and some reporters surfaced some crew members were sneaking in extra supplies including food and even caffeine, which were strictly off-limits. Some were accused of slipping food into the biosphere in their clothes or hiding it in hidden compartments in the dome's walls. One of the most talked about incidences was that a few of the biospherians were allegedly sneaking cans of tuna, candy, and even coffee, all things that were supposed to be strictly forbidden. The crew was supposed to survive off of what was grown inside the dome and any resources that they could harvest from their own environment. But as the stress of isolation took a toll, the temptation became too much. And it wasn't just food. Some of the crew members were accused of bringing in oxygen when they couldn't cope with the deteriorating air quality. The harsh reality was that no one knew how to make the biosphere work exactly, and the strain was starting to show. Things got so heated that two crew members were reportedly at odds over the issue. The team became divided, and the conflict escalated to the point where some people weren't even speaking to each other. But despite the chaos, one thing that became crystal clear, this experiment wasn't just about science. It was a psychological experiment too, testing human endurance, ethics, and the limits of isolation. And as far as the cheating, let's just say the project wasn't quite as self-sustaining as they hoped. Biosphere 2 was a warning shot, a dress rehearsal for the end of the world. They imagined a future where we would need backup plants, Mars colonies, self-sustaining worlds, and this was the prototype. 30 years later and we're still trying. SpaceX, Mars missions, AI-run habitats, but here's the truth. We still don't know how to live without Earth. Walking through this place feels like ruins of the future that never came, and warning carved in glass and steel. Today, the Biosphere 2 is run by the University of Arizona. It's a living lab now, used for climate research, CO2 experiments, and studying how the Earth reacts to crisis. It's not a sealed dome anymore, and it's not trying to be. This place wasn't a failure, it was a mirror. It showed us how fragile life is, and how little we understand it. We thought we could outsmart Earth, build something better, but instead, this glass dome, we learned the most humbling lesson of all. We're not separate from nature, we are a part of it. This was supposed to be the future, and maybe it still can be. Since you all probably want to know, yes, they did last the full two years, but most of the crew members lost 15 to 20 percent of their body weight. They had very low oxygen since they were basically living at 14,000 feet elevation. They experienced fatigue, mental fog, and slow metabolism. But despite all those things, there wasn't any major medical emergency, which was a success in itself. And not only was there one mission, but right after they tried to do a second mission, but that crew only lasted six months. The second group entered Biosphere 2 just to try it all again, and to build off of what the first crew had learned. Allegedly, there was more media, lawsuits, and some budget cuts. 
So it looks like the first go around was the best they were gonna get. Today has been a very interesting day to say the least. I just want to give you a little rundown of tours, tickets, and add some fun little facts about the Biosphere 2, which first fun fact, Biosphere 2 is called Biosphere 2 because they consider Earth Biosphere 1 and they wanted to replicate Earth, hence why it's called Biosphere 2. For me personally, I just walked in. It might be better if you get your tickets in advance. I don't really know. I paid $29 and I just did a self-guided tour. I would definitely recommend bringing headphones because you download the Biosphere 2 app on your phone and then you go through the app and you can play the video. You can also read and you can discover more. However much information you want to learn about that certain section, you can do. I personally didn't have headphones. There wasn't really that many people there. It opened at 9 and I got there at 10. There was some type of convention event going on and then in the afternoon is when people started to show up and there was field trips and all that and it really does not take you long to go through this whole thing. They say it's a little over an hour but since I was filming and I was specifically waiting for people to not be around or in a shot, it took me over two hours which I had no plans but to do that. They do offer guys guided tours, but I don't know how much that costs. I need your guys' feedbacks and opinions, so if you could comment down below if you like this style, because if you've been following along for a while, you know I am a vlogger. I take you along and I walk, talk, do all those things. Between this video and last week's video, I kind of changed up my style to be more educational, history, sit down, do videos over my voice, cinematic, which I do love creating but I also like carrying the camera because I feel like you're there experiencing it with me, but I also like to make it more educational. Maybe in the future, I'll try to combine the two somehow, but if you're absolutely not liking this style, please let me know. It's not gonna hurt my feelings. And I do wanna add a few other fun facts. One of the ladies in there decided to make pizza and it took her four months to make. She harvested the wheat to make the bread and then she used the goats to make the cheese but I just think that's crazy. Four months to make that, it would honestly be very rewarding and it makes you think about how easy life is because I can just go and order pizza or I can put one in the oven. Everything's so accessible. Us as humans don't realize once something's gone how hard it is to ever have it back, which is another outtake on the biosphere too. And the last thing before we cue back into this video, they wore astronaut suits into the biosphere sphere too. And yes, it had benefits for mechanical reasons. And But some people were saying they just wore them for the vibe because there's the analogy of space and they want to create another Earth to possibly put on Mars. So it's kind of funny because they're dressed as astronauts, but they're down below. <laughs> I do want to add, because I feel like I said it was a giant fail, which I mean, in the long run, yes, it was a giant fail, but some things did work out. Anyways, please comment down below your feedback or just comment anything that you enjoyed about this video. Let's get into a few more fun facts. This place covers more than 3.14 acres and has over 7 million cubic feet of space. That is bigger than three football fields under glass. And that entire glass shell is 6,500 panels, which had to be specifically treated to control UV light and heat because the normal greenhouse glass would have just fried everything inside. And this is my final fun little fact. Even while the original mission was happening, hundreds of tourists a day would would come stare through the glass like it was a zoo for humans. That is just crazy to think. This whole scenario seems like something out of a movie. Whether you think the Biosphere 2 was a crazy failed experiment or a bold glimpse into the future, one thing's for sure, there is nothing else like Earth. They try to recreate the planet, and in the process, they learn that they really can't replace the real thing. There's so much more to the biosphere, too, that I did not say in this video, like the ocean, them creating coral, but the coral obviously failed. The rainforest had a waterfall fog machine. It is truly crazy that something like that just exists in the middle of the Arizona desert. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Hit 
that subscribe button, turn the post notifications on so you don't miss out when I post. Like always, I have no idea what I'll be up to next week. <laughs>